but quality scores were originally developed by the program for to help in the automation of DNA sequencing in the Human Genome Project. But quality scores are assigned to each nucleotide base call in automated sequencer traces. But quality scores have become widely accepted to characterize the quality of DNA sequences, and can be used to compare the efficacy of different sequencing methods. Perhaps the most important use of food quality scores is the automatic determination of accurate, quality-based consensus sequences. Definition Food quality scores are defined as a property which is logarithmically related to the base calling error probabilities. Or, for example, if food assigns a quality score of 30 to a base, the chances that this base is called incorrectly are 1 in 1000. The most commonly used method is to count the bases with a quality score of 20 and above. The high accuracy of food quality scores make them an ideal tool to assess the quality of sequences. The food quality score is the negative ratio of the error probability to the reference level of expressed in decibel. History The idea of sequence quality scores can be traced back to the original description of the SCF file format by Staden's group in 1992. In 1995, Bonfield and Staden proposed a method to use base-specific quality scores to improve the accuracy of consensus sequences in DNA sequencing projects. However, early attempts to develop base-specific quality scores had only limited success. The first program to develop accurate and powerful base-specific quality scores was the program FUD. FUD was able to calculate highly accurate quality scores that were logarithmically linked to the error probabilities. FUD was quickly adapted by all major genome sequencing centers and many other laboratories. The vast majority of the DNA sequences produced during the Human Genome Project were processed with FUD. After FUD quality scores had become a required standard in DNA sequencing, other manufacturers of DNA sequencing instruments developed similar quality scoring methods for their base calling software, including LeCon and ABI. Methods For its approach to base calling and calculating quality scores was outlined by Ewing al. to determine quality scores, FUD first calculate several parameters related to peak shape and peak resolution at each base. FUD then uses these parameters to look up a corresponding quality score in huge lookup tables. These lookup tables were generated from sequence traces where the correct sequence was known, and are hard coded in FUD. Different lookup tables are used for different sequencing chemistries and machines. An evaluation of the accuracy of FUD quality scores for a number of variations in sequencing chemistry and instrumentation showed that FUD quality scores are highly accurate. FUD was originally developed for slab gel sequencing machines like the ABI 373. When originally developed, FUD had a lower base calling error rate than the manufacturer's base calling software, which also did not provide quality scores. However, FUD was only partially adapted to the capillary DNA sequences that became popular later. In contrast, instrument manufacturers like ABI continued to adapt their base calling software changes in sequencing chemistry, and have included the ability to create FUD like quality scores. Therefore, the need to use FUD for base calling of DNA sequencing traces has diminished, and using the manufacturer's current software versions can often give more accurate results. Applications FUD quality scores are used for assessment of sequence quality, recognition and removal of low quality sequence, determination of accurate consensus sequences. Originally, FUD quality scores were primarily used by the sequence assembly program FRAP. FRAP was routinely used in some of the larger sequencing projects in the Human Genome Sequencing Project and is currently one of the most widely used DNA sequence assembly programs in the biotech industry. FRAP uses FUD quality scores to determine highly accurate consensus sequences and to estimate the quality of the consensus sequences. FRAP also uses FUD quality scores to estimate whether discrepancies between two overlapping sequences are more likely to arise from random errors or from different copies of a repeated sequence. Within the Human Genome Project, the most important use of food quality scores was for automatic determination of consensus sequences. Before food and FRAP, scientists had to carefully look at discrepancies between overlapping DNA fragments. Often, 
This involved manual determination of the highest quality sequence, and manual editing of any errors. FRAP's use of food quality scores effectively automated finding the highest quality consensus sequence. In most cases, this completely circumvents the need for any manual editing. As a result, the estimated error rate in assemblies that were created automatically with FUD and FRAP is typically substantially lower than the error rate of manually edited sequence. In 2009, many commonly used software packages make use of FUD quality scores, albeit to a different extent. Some programs like Sequentia use quality scores only for display and end clipping, but not for consensus determination. Other programs like Code on Code Aligner also implement quality based consensus methods. Compression Quality scores are normally stored together with the nucleotide sequence in the widely accepted FASTQ format. They account for about half of the required disk space in the FASTQ format, and therefore the compression of the quality values can significantly reduce storage requirements and speed up analysis and transmission of sequencing data. Both lossless and lossy compression are recently being considered in the literature. For example, the algorithm Qualcomm performs lossy compression with a rate specified by the user. Based on rate distortion theory results, it allocates the number of bits so as to minimize the MSE between the original and the reconstructed quality values. Other algorithms for compression of quality values include ScaleSay and FASTQZ. Both are lossless compression algorithms that provide an optional controlled lossy transformation approach. For example, ScaleSay reduces the alphabet size based on the observation that a euro or an abo ring euro quality values are similar in general. See also, FASTQ format, references. External links, long reads with the KB Basicola comparison of food accuracy with a competing program, ABI's KB Basicola. The Laboratory of Phil Green Fraps homepage.